today just shows the extent of this problem up and down the, uh, the country. One new thing I do want to bring to this debate, having spoken in just about every other single debate on this subject for some time now, is the forthcoming recommended 2% pay increase for uh, teachers. That is going to have a very serious effect on already fragile budgets of many of our schools. Last year, uh, it was 1% to be funded by uh, schools, and the rest largely by central government. Uh, this year, it's the full 2% is going to fall to schools whose budgets are already highly stretched. And when I tabled a question to the Minister asking about what sustainability criteria have been taken into uh, effect, I was sent uh, some circulars, and in that circular it says, we know there is considerable scope for schools to improve their efficiency and use of resources. Our DfE high-level analysis indicates that if the 25% of schools spending the highest amounts in each category of non-staff expenditure were instead spending at the level of the rest, this could save over a billion pounds that could be spent on improving teaching. The problem is, uh, Sir David, but certainly in West Sussex and in my constituency, schools have taken all their surplus expenditure out of the system over many, uh, many uh, years. And in some cases, they are spending over 90% now of their budget on staffing, which leaves a tiny, tiny little uh, pot to take further savings, supposedly from, to pay for this uh, increase. That is going to be a problem. And it hasn't got any cheaper running schools or paying for pupils now schools since last year's... Uh, I will very quickly... On that issue, on pressure on teachers' pay, um, I, I've had a, a communication from a head teacher in my constituency that um, we, there is, of course, a 40% increase in teachers' pensions contribution to uh, come ahead. And teachers in my constituency are absolutely desperate because they really don't know how they're going to fund them within the existing levels of teaching grant and the budget support. Uh, indeed, I mentioned one uh, aspect of uh, further um, expenditure coming and uh, pressures down the, uh, down the front. I won't take any more interventions because, at least well, I don't seem to have got an extra minute for that one, so that was probably the uh, mistake. So what I did, Sir David, was uh, last year I got all the chairs of governors uh, from all my schools together to tell me in real terms, uh, in real life, what the impact of funding pressures was having on their schools now. And I did a similar exercise with all the heads. So we've had a lot of national um, figures uh, thrown at us. We've had a lot of misinformation thrown at us from uh, all skies. I have to say the uh, some of the campaigns in our constituencies have been highly politicised. One head in of a second school in my constituency, simply because I put a DfE uh, press release on my website, wrote to all his parents, castigating me, having been in every single debate on this subject, having stood side by side with parents and teachers and others to get fairer uh, funding. And it doesn't help to politicise this campaign. If we're going to get a better deal, yeah, yeah, we need point. to work together with heads, right. with parents and with governors, as I have been trying to do. So I got... Rather than uh, all sorts of misinformation, I got that hard information. I wrote an eight-page letter, which I'm happy to uh, give to all honourable members here, about the actual impacts it's having in our schools uh, now. Shortfalls have been clawed back by reducing staffing costs, which in some cases account for 90% of a school's budget. Senior leadership teams are covering uh, classes. Extracurricular activities and trips are being culled. Certain things are being taken off the curriculum altogether. Teaching assistant support has been reduced by over 200 hours in, uh, uh, in one school. Higher level teaching assistants are being used to cover classes, so school cuts costs on supply uh, uh, staff are uh, uh, less. The quality in some cases, I'm afraid, is being compromised. And I got just one email just today from one of my primary school heads. We have a long waiting list of children who benefit uh, from work with a therapist who works in that school two days a week. She's had a great deal of success with children with social and emotional needs. We're not sure if we can maintain her hours. The danger is that some of these children who could and would being able to engage and flourish in education and society will end up costing society a great deal more than the adequate funding of their needs in school because we are missing out. Now, this is a national emergency, Sir David. In West Sussex, it's been an emergency for some years. We have got to have fair funding now. It is a false economy yeah, yeah. for our children not to. Yeah, yeah, yeah.